Good day, everybody. My name is Awesome Crunch, and welcome to Colony Survival. Now, this is a game that I've actually been meaning to play on the channel for a long time, but I never actually got around to getting the game. Now, the devs were actually nice enough to supply me with a key, and before you say anything, this is not a sponsored video, don't worry. They just gave it to me out of the goodness of their hearts, because they're obviously nice people. Um, so, it's not a sponsored video or anything like that. I'm doing this under my own free will. Uh, and I've, I've wanted to play this game for a long time since I saw other people like IGP play it, it think it's a really cool game. So, we're going to try and start it today. I'm going to set a like goal of 100 likes. If we can get that, I will make this into a series because I realise, as I've said before, videos that aren't supposed on this channel, they just don't do well. And I need to build up a new fan base, otherwise I'm going to die. Um, I mean, not, my, not myself, but my channel. Uh, and I don't mean that you guys are not a good fan base. I just mean a lot of a lot of you won't click on any videos that aren't in North Korea, which is completely understandable, and that is my own fault. Uh, so I need to build up a new fan base, and I need to do that by playing new and relevant games. So first off, we're going to start with Colony Survival. Now, if you don't know what this game is, somehow, uh, then basically you're a king. You have to build a village or a castle or just a outpost kind of thing. You hire peasants, and they become workers, like guards, miners. Uh, bread makers, farmers, all that kind of good stuff. So you basically just are a king and you rule over a kingdom. It's really, really fun and you can get really, really creative with your buildings as you can see in the background over there. Someone has gone a bit mental with a castle. So we're going to start a new world and we're going to call it Crunchtopia. I really hope the series does do well because um, otherwise it's going to be a bit awkward, isn't it? Now I've only actually tried one game so far. Um... And it didn't go well. All of my colonists died uh, because I forgot to feed them. And then when I remembered to feed them, I couldn't hire anyone else because I had no food. And it wouldn't let me hire anyone, uh, which makes perfect sense. So I couldn't hire anyone to make me food, so I couldn't make food to save the people. So, you know, it all went a bit peak tong, but it's all safe now, so it's okay. Right, I need to find somewhere to actually build a castle, and I don't know where's best, maybe next to a lake, maybe that's a good idea. Because I have seen some people build moats, and they look really cool, and I think the only way to build a moat, at least unless they've updated it, is to actually kind of channel in some water from a lake. And if we're close to one, then we can certainly have a go. But for the moment, I think we're going to use that as a source for a moat, which we may implement later on. So hopefully, if you guys enjoy this series, we will get to a point where we can have a really, really cool kingdom. I want my flag to be in there. I think that would be a good idea to keep it safe. But it also needs to be in places uh, that are accessible for workers, uh, because otherwise it goes into siege mode, uh, apparently, and all of your food goes, basically, because it uses a ton more food than you normally would use. Okay, so what I've done is I've made a little makeshift area where hopefully it should be accessible by peasants, otherwise it won't work at all, uh, so that the siege mode won't begin. But, hopefully, this should actually work as a starting area. Uh, because I think that actually looks really cool as a place for the water to come from. And actually, what we can do... Put mud there. There you go. So it just looks like a little pond. And we can branch off that. We can build to the left and come around and create a moat kind of thing. I think that might be a good idea. If you do know any tips for the game, though, guys, please do give me them in the comments section below. Because... Uh, they are very, very useful, and I am not an experienced player uh, of Colony Survival at all, so any help is much, much, much appreciated. Maybe a good idea would be to have the entirety of the castle underground. Because um, it says you can you can farm on dirt, so if we can get a little cave, then we could perhaps farm in there. And there's nothing really out here that we need other than forestry, which we can definitely get going. Um, so as long as we have some guards out here, and some people doing forestry, um, I think we might actually be able to make a fully functional underground castle, which I think might be really cool. Okay, eventually I want to turn all of this into into wood, the flooring, uh, just so it's a little bit nicer. But I have actually got this working as I wanted it to work so far, so that's really good. Okay, so the dirt doesn't go down very far at all, but I think we might actually be able to do this quite well. Okay, so now I'm going to just trial uh, making a farm. So I'm just going to have a wheat farm for the moment. Uh, and it has to be reasonably big, so I'll make it 5x5, five because five, that is actually a perfect size. Because that doesn't go through the door then. So we need to get one colonist so that we can have a farmer going and see how that works. 
So for the moment, what I'll do is just put a block there. Right, I'll put the bed down. Ah, I need to make the bedrooms, don't I? That's what I was going to do. Okay, so this is going to be the start of the bedrooms. I will improve it after a while, but for the moment, I think this is what we're going to have. Uh, you can actually have it like that, so that they can share a massive bed. So I think that's probably the best idea. Ah, there you go. Okay, so he's recruited. So as you can see in the top left, it says zero unemployed. So that means for us that this should be okay. Except that you're going to have to walk through the... I, I didn't think of that. You have to walk through the corn to get to your bedrooms. But that doesn't matter. Trampling on, on the sword doesn't matter. So it does actually look like this is going to work. Which is actually really nice. I wasn't actually fully expecting it to, but it is. There you go. So he will go to his station now on that wall and protect us from any incoming zombies. Uh, and also I have a bow myself, or at least I'll make myself one. So I can also protect us against zombies if I'm needed. But for the moment, this guy should protect us forwards. But obviously, if they come from any other direction, we're a little bit screwed. So we'll just have to watch out for that. So this is going. This is the mining floor. This is where the lowest you can actually go. So the further we mine out this area, then hopefully the more ore we should find. There you go. I have to do everything myself. Get him. Oh my god. Can't even aim. Oh, I don't know how this guy's actually doing anything, because do we have flour? Uh, oh, no, we need wheat, don't we? Do we actually have any wheat? We have wheat seeds, which is described as future bread. Oh, we have light. We have torches. I didn't even realise. That's very useful. Okay, this should be good, I think. Ah, we got a lot of stone bricks from that. Hopefully the colonists will find it easier to get up these steps than I do. Otherwise they're going to spend half the day getting up and down them. Food use per day. Okay, so if we have 27 food and our food use per day is 25, we might just about survive until all of this wheat is grown and then we can make the bread. I really hope we do survive that long. They don't seem to take food from the inventory very often, so maybe we'll be okay. Oh god, wait, the banner is disconnected from the world. What? Is it? Oh god, yeah, it's we're gonna we're gonna die because of a banner being in the water. I thought that'd be okay. Why are we in siege mode? You can get to that, can't you? Can you not? Is it because of that? Ah, there you go. Okay, that got rid of siege mode. It's because nobody could get in. Right. Okay, so there has to be a door. Which I'm ah, that makes sense actually. Yeah, obviously there has to be a door. Oh god. Okay, they're overrunning us slightly. Okay. So, the guy, the guys are up. So, hopefully, that we should be making bread now. He, yes, he's collecting the wheat. So he needs to put that in the thing, which he's not doing yet. I think he needs to farm the entire thing before he does that. We've got six food left. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yes, we have bread. Okay. Right, I need to, I need to make more farming land then, because this is not enough to support. Being as we use 25 a day, this is not enough food. Okay, so we need to get another farmer for that. We've got 21.4 food, so we might survive the night. What time is it? That you can't tell. The sun came up from over there. I think it's about midday now. Okay, we should be able to survive this first day. And once we're back into the groove of things, we should be okay. Oh, God. Oh, siege mode. Oh, it's all gone wrong. I'm not sure if we're going to survive this. <laughs> I need to get better at the game. Okay, it's about to be sunrise, and we're on 6.4 food. So if these these guys can hurry up and get that more that other batch of bread out, then we will survive. Hopefully, I don't know. that's not for definite. Okay, we're on 0.0, .0 food, so we're going to die unless this guy can get this bread into the thing. I don't understand why it's taking him so long. We have four flour. Do you need five flour? Right, well, I think I'm going to end this episode here, guys. Sorry, uh, not a lot got done, but it is the first episode, and I have about 75 minutes in it overall, actually. So, I haven't got very long in it at all, so I'm still not very good at it, and I'm just not kind of very good at it anyway. <laughs> so, if you do have any tips, guys, please do tell me in the comments below. Uh, hopefully our colonists will survive, um, and I'll leave them on a bit of a cliffhanger, so hopefully you'll watch the next episode. 
uh, to find out whether we survived or not. And if we don't, then, you know, I'll just have to restart and uh, try and recreate this. Or go with a different idea that you guys come up with in the comments below. I don't mind. But I'm going to leave it here, guys. So if you did enjoy the video, please, please, please give it a like. If we can get 100 likes, I will continue this as a series. And I'll leave it uh, here. So if you did enjoy the video, please give it a like. If you're feeling really, really generous, subscribe to me, Crunchy David. Until next one, I'll s see you guys in the next one. Try my friends.